Hi, we're sitting in front of a used Yamaha Studio Piano. And if you're in the market for a used Yamaha or Kawai, particularly, there's a term you're going to come across I want to take a second to unpack. That term is gray market. And so what is a gray market piano? Well, a gray market piano is one that's being sold in an area where it wasn't originally designed to be sold by the original manufacturer. So in this case, we have these Japanese and Asian built pianos that are being sold here in the US. Well, how did they get here? Why are they here? And why are those manufacturers talking about that? Let's unpack that a little bit. Let's take a look first at why are these pianos being shipped here to North America, specifically the US. Well, we need to understand the Japanese culture. In Japan, there's very little market for anything used. It's a very cultural thing to buy new. And so there are a lot of pianos that have been used lightly for a number of years that there's no market to unload. Well, business people here in the States and in North America realize that these pianos can be brought over and sold at a discount to the North American consumer uh, at a substantial discount. So imagine yourself as the original manufacturer of Yamaha or Kawai, and obviously the more used pianos that are sold, the fewer new pianos that you as a manufacturer are going to sell. And so it's in your interest to prevent that from happening as much as possible. So you're going to have to come up with some strategies to try to convince people they should pay more for the new version of an otherwise identical instrument. All right. So we need to understand also that the, it's not just a few of these instruments that are being shipped over here. Music education is compulsory in Japan. And oftentimes, newly married couples will buy their first new piano before they've even bought their home or before they've had their first child. They want to prepare that environment to nurture the child with music. So almost every family in Japan owns a piano. And when those children grow up and finish playing the piano, they try to get rid of these instruments. And so we have them coming over in mass quantities. So it is something you're going to come across fairly often. So now let's talk a little bit about some of the arguments that are used against these instruments here in the US. And specifically, the most common one refers to the wood that's used in the instruments or the humidity level in the wood. Now when trees are cut, the wood is very, very damp, obviously, and it's called green wood. And so before any type of manufacturer, whether that's for pianos or furniture or any other wooden product can use that, the wood has to be dried. And so these piano manufacturers dry the wood to very specific moisture content levels. And Yamaha and Kawai typically had three moisture levels that they were drying to based on where the piano was going to be sold. Uh, and so the argument for the Japanese pianos, which were being imported here to the US, was that they were dried to a different moisture content and therefore would not hold up and the pianos would basically fall apart within a number of years. Well, we need to be very careful about considering that argument, okay? So basically these manufacturers were saying that, well, North America is one climate. So if you've ever been to Mexico or northern Canada or Colorado or Miami, depending on the season and depending on the location, we can have just as many if not more climates, obviously, as some areas in Japan and in Asia. So you really need to evaluate that argument and see whether it holds all of the merit that these manufacturers seem to place on it. Now, we do have changes in climates and any piano, whether it's made by Yamaha, Kawai, Steinway, Boston, Essex, Young Chang, Samick, or any other company is going to face humidity issues. Now, to what extent? That's going to depend a lot on your home. And the best climate control system you have in your home is your heating and air conditioning system. Homes are more stable now than they were 30 years ago as far as temperature and humidity. And if you're really having issues, whether you have one of these instruments or you have any other piano, there's always options like a humidity control system, a damp chaser system, and options there to consider. So again, we just want to be careful at taking some of the arguments at face value. So another argument used against these pianos is some of the construction differences. Well, if you're buying a piano from an individual, that can definitely be something to consider. You want to make sure that you have a qualified technician go over the piano and make sure that it's in good condition to begin with when you buy that instrument. Make sure that it plays well, that it's going to hold tune, uh, and that it's going to be serviceable. But some of the arguments against this are that there's no replacement parts available. Well, the truth is the vast majority of the parts in a piano are universal. Strings, tuning pins, things like that can be replaced easily by any piano technician. Now, if you're buying from a reputable piano dealer who has a repair shop and qualified technicians, if there's truly something drastic that happens to your instrument, one of two things is going to happen. One, they're going to have offered you a warranty. So they're going to give you the peace of mind that if something were to go wrong with your piano, that they would be able to take care of it, fix it, or replace it, obviously at no cost to you. 
The second part of that is that they're going to be able to fix the instrument. They're going to be able to fabricate any part of the piano. Uh, here at Emerald, when we offer a warranty, and we offer a warranty on every used piano we sell, we're guaranteeing that for the life of that warranty, we're going to be able to replace, fix, or manufacture any part to make sure that your piano is in as good a condition as it is the day that you get it from us. And any reputable piano dealer should offer the same guarantee. I hope this has helped unpack some of the discussion and confusion that can happen around the term gray market pianos. When you're shopping for a piano, the best thing you can do is buy from a reputable source, shop a few different places, and consider the instrument when you're looking at it. Play it, listen to the way it sounds, listen to the way it feels. If it's in good shape and the dealer is offering you some guarantee there, you're probably in the clear. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 901-325-6402.